What's up guys, this is another episode of Total Tech War and part 2 of the Galaxy S3 vs iPhone 4S. If you haven't seen part 1, click on the Spartan box on the right. Okay guys, we're finally up to the X Factor round. The Galaxy S3 has got an LED indicator. It also has Smart Stay, which means the S3 screen won't turn off when reading email. It comes with pop-up play and Samsung's officially supporting wireless charging. Smart Alert is also available and also 72% of the apps on Google Play are free. And on the iPhone side we've got better Apple integration like uh, iTunes, iCloud, Apple TV. Uh, the iPhone also has a lot more accessories. It's also got four times as many iOS developers. Uh, that's mainly due to all the money that's to be made. And also it's uh, got easier one-handed use obviously because it's so small. And it also has direct updates when a new firmware is released whereas Samsung usually has to wait a couple months for the latest Android updates. The Galaxy S3 has a better search bar, a more advanced notification bar, better multitasking. It also has social tag where your phone automatically recognizes who's in your photos. And it also has direct call which means it automatically calls someone when you place the phone near your head. And it also has more sharing options. It also has better Google integration so this will come in handy to you if you're a big fan of Google services. Obviously the big reason is that it's an open system. I mean you paid for your phone so you should be able to do whatever you want to it without having to hack it like some kind of criminal. I mean our ancestors fought for our freedoms so we shouldn't take it for granted. I mean you can go on the Play Store and just download launches and totally change your phone without even needing to hack it and uh, most of them I think are free. You can also totally pimp out your lock screens. It also has live wallpapers which can be fun especially if you are into pandas. There are also hundreds of different kinds of widgets from bookmarks, emails, calendar widgets and once you've gotten used to the functionality of widgets you can't go on with life without them. They say the bond between a man and his widget is unbreakable. There are also many different kinds of music players and video players on the Play Store that provide tons of functionality with unique features, equalizers and support for any kind of file format. There are also many unique messaging and keyboard apps with many features and themes. So when it comes to special abilities, the Galaxy S3 takes it with a score of 20 to 5. So the Galaxy S3 is victorious with a final score of 53 to 10. So that works out to make the S3 530% more Spartan than the 4S. Just to put that into perspective how much 530% is, that would be like if a cheater fought a lion to the death or if a BMW i8 raced a 68 Fiat. So you're probably wondering why so many people buy the iPhone and basically it comes down to two reasons. The first being a lack of education when it comes to smartphones because let's face it your average person who goes in to buy a phone doesn't look at spec sheets or versus videos on YouTube like we do to see what else is out there. And the second reason is marketing. I would say that Apple has the best marketing in the world of any company. But I'll talk more about that in another episode. So why do you guys think the iPhone is so popular? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more wars, please subscribe. Okay guys, I'll catch you guys later. Final round. Finish him.